Kim Kardashian West has taken to social media to shed light on the conviction of US rapper, C. Murder, who was convicted of killing a 16-year-old fan. The 39-year-old star frequently uses her platform to bring attention to cases of injustice in the United States prison system. C. Murder, whose real name is Corey Miller, now 49, was accused of shooting fan Steve Thomas at a Louisiana club. He is currently serving time in Louisiana State Penitentiary but has maintained his innocence since his conviction. Kim took to social media on Sunday to say that evidence throughout the case had been questioned and that jurors had been pressured into saying Corey was guilty. Read more related articles Read more related articles addressing her 66.4 million Twitter followers, the trainee lawyer said, hash free Corey Miller. On January 18, 2002, a tragedy occurred when a young man was killed. The next day Corey Miller was arrested for the murder. The jury convicted Corey 10 to 2 and he was sentenced to life in prison. If his trial was today, the jury would have had to be unanimous for him to be convicted. The keeping up with the Kardashians legend continued, since his trial, witnesses have recanted, new evidence of his potential innocence has come to light, and there are claims of jurors being pressured into voting to convict. Read more related articles True justice for the young man requires that the person who actually killed him be held responsible and that Corey Miller be returned home to his kids. The mum of four went on to say, my heart goes out to the family of Steve Thomas. I can only imagine how hard this is and my intention is never to open up this painful wound but to help find the truth behind this tragedy. C. Murder's ex-girlfriend. Monica Denise also took to social media to that there are lots of issues in his case to prove his innocence. Since embarking on her journey, she has spoken at the White House surrounding criminal justice reform alongside Donald Trump and has fought to grant clemency to Sintonia Brown Long, Crystal Munoz and Judith Negron. The businesswoman also assisted in Donald Trump's decision to sign off the First Step Act in January 2019. Kim's father, Robert Kardashian Sr., was also a lawyer who represented O.J. Simpson who was accused of the murder of his wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. <laughs>